double knitting, um, the best way to bind off is to use what I call the double knitting bind off. And it employs really the same method as a basic bind off, but it is doing um, one peg at a time across the loom back and forth individually as you go in line. And what that does is it keeps your bind off from being uh, extra tight and it more matches your cast on stitches after they've been finished according to the instructions in the book. So see how nice and um, straight that is and it's, and it's very square. It's not sucked in and this bind off will keep um, your bind off edge matching your cast on edge. So let's do that. So here I have my working yarn here. I'm going to knit this stitch. This is one. And then knit two across. And then just as in the basic bind off, this would be my second stitch. It's going to go on top of the first and get knit off. Just like that. Then I come across to the third. See, one, two, three. This one's going to get knit. And then move the third loop onto the second loop now and knit off. And then it gets this loop. We're going to go come, or we're going to come across to the other side of the loom so that we can now knit our fourth peg in line. Knit off, move over here, knit off. And now we just did this side, so we're coming over across to the other side. Just remember to keep it alternating and that will keep your stitches um, perfectly bound off in a great tension that's not going to suck in. It's going to keep square and it'll be a little elastic too, which is what you want. And you don't want to pull your stitches tight. Work in a little looseness into each of your um, bind off stitches. So when I knit this, what I'm going to do is pull, when I pull it over, see it, it gains a little bit of stretch there. I'm going to leave that there when I knit off. I'm not going to pull the working yarn to snug that in because we want that built-in stretchability. Okay. And we're going to keep doing this back and forth, one at a time, until we reach the end of the row. And we're at our last stitch here, which will be knit off, and over, knit off, and then you will knit it off one more time after one more wrap. And then this loop, your yarn can then be trimmed and pulled all the way through, and that will be your knot. And this is what your bind off looks like. See, it's got a nice, pretty chained look, and you can adjust any of the stitches if they're uneven. And it is fairly well square. It 
it looks really pretty and it'll look better too if it was a little bit steam blocked and uh, it is elastic too it's not snug and tight like some of the other um, double bind double knitting bind offs that I've seen so this one is great for a scarf where you have your uh, cast off stocking that cast on and then you can finish up with this double knit bind off and it makes a very similar edge and this is the one that I my favorite and the one that I use throughout the book Loom Knitting for Little People.